Greetings folks, Simon here, and some more potential exciting news in the world of Final Fantasy VII Remake. Now I did promise you I would keep sharing these updates with you, so if you haven't yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, you might want to consider doing so in order to be notified of these little episodes going forward. But we've been saying for a few weeks now that it seems likely that February is going to be the month where Square are going to once again kick off the hype train for FF7R. And with the Final Fantasy VII Remake Orchestra concert taking place on the 13th of February, it seems that will be the perfect opportunity for them to start doing so. I've already made a video on the fact that Yoshinori Kitase is going to be making an appearance at this concert. But what we've just learned today is that one of the co-directors of the project, Mr. Toriyami, is also going to be making an appearance. But here's the thing. It's also been announced that he's going to be revealing something to do with the Final Fantasy VII Remake. So let's just go ahead and look at the official tweet here first of all. This was posted on the uh, Square Enix Music Twitter. And using Google Translate, at the Final Fantasy VII Remake Orchestra World Tour being held on the 13th of Feb. There will be an extra broadcast prior to the performance. Please take a look. And there's a comment here by Mr. Toriyami, the co-director. Now, very kindly, of course, as always, Audrey over at Twitter, I'll leave a link to her feed down in the description, has posted the translation of the message from Toriyami here. So let's go ahead and take a listen to that. Hello, I'm FF7R co-director Toriyama. The FF7R concert will be this coming weekend. The concert will not only have music from the original game, but the remake contains new songs we made especially for it. I'm looking forward to seeing how the orchestra will perform those. In addition to the performance, we have a special program planned as well. There will be few things about FF7R that will be revealed only during this concert. And I will also take part in this program, so please tune in. Okay, folks, I just want to show you that bit again. Uh, there will be a few things about FF7R that will be revealed during this concert so this is the first acknowledgement that we have from an official source that there is going to be some kind of announcement about the final fantasy 7 remake project here like i say we've been suspecting this for some time so it's not exactly going to be a huge surprise that square are going to be announcing something but it's nice to have that official confirmation now the scope of this announcement is not mentioned here it may be something very 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 small it may be something quite substantial so we'll have to wait and see but the two things that i know a lot of people are hoping for are going to be a some news about part two of the final fantasy 7 remake and b news about the first game's release on other systems now that the ps4 exclusivity will be finishing now going on all the past leaks and rumors that we've been talking about over the last few weeks I strongly suspect that it's going to be the latter. That is, we're going to be looking at an announcement for the PS5 version of Final Fantasy VII Remake Part 1. Hopefully as well with an announcement for other systems like PC, maybe Xbox as well. But going with that announcement, I would not be surprised to find out that that is going to be a definitive version of the game that's going to include some of the story, DLC and character DLC that we've mentioned over the channel in times past. Now, one of the big questions that I think people are going to have is any new content that comes with the PS5 version, is that going to be retroactively made available to function with the PS4 version? And I strongly suspect that a lot of it will be, especially in terms of the DLC. Obviously, the PS5 is going to bring improvements to the game, to the frame rate and things of that nature that aren't going to be able to be brought over to the PS4. But in terms of the additional content, I do believe we can expect to see some kind of expansion pack released by Square to cover the ps4 version let's be honest a lot of people are not going to have access to a ps5 yet because of all the shortages and whatnot and i can't see square saying to those sorry i know you own ff7r already but you're going to be excluded from this particular new content i don't think that's going to happen i think it's going to be released with the ps5 version but also made available to those that are sticking with the ps4 version of the game now, I do understand it can be fun to speculate and what have you, but I would like to just temper expectations a little bit by reminding us all, really, that there has, as of yet, anyhow, been no official word about any potential DLC announcement for Part 1. And so I think the next big question is, can we expect anything in terms of Part 2 of the remake project to be 
revealed or announced at the concert. And I think there's three ways Square are going to go here. First of all, they could simply not mention it in any way, shape or form. Secondly, they could mention it but not show anything of substance. Just a reminder that they're working on it and that it's in full-time development. Hype it up a little bit. Or third, they could go the route of giving us a teaser trailer and maybe even a reveal of the title for that game. I am going to be surprised if they do not mention part two at all. I think we're at the stage now where they are going to want to start just sowing some seeds of hype for the next game. And even if we don't get anything of substance, just a little bit of talking about it by the developers, how they're excited for it, how they think fans are going to love it, the usual stuff. I would be surprised if we don't even get that. Now, in terms of getting some kind of teaser or a title reveal, I simply don't know at this stage. I don't think any of us do. I think if that is the case, that we are going to be getting some kind of teaser trailer, that Square have done a very good job of keeping that under wraps because there's been nothing online that I've seen of substance that suggests that is going to be the case. We do, of course, have those trademark reveals of recent days or recent weeks now, I should say. I do think it would have been quite sloppy of Square if it turns out that one of those trademarks is actually the title for part two of the remake. I'm still grasping onto the likeliness that Ever Crisis is going to be the title for the DLC content for part one. Maybe First Soldier will be as well, but I don't think that trademark exists worldwide yet, whereas Ever Crisis at least exists in more regions outside of Japan. In any case, whatever plans Square have for the Final Fantasy VII Remake Orchestra concert will be coming to fruition in just about five days as of today. And let me know your thoughts down in the comments. What would you like to see for the future of Final Fantasy VII Remake? When do you think the game is going to be released? And do you want to see some DLC content for part one before we start moving into part two? Have a wonderful day, everybody. And I'll see you next time. Bye.